Brad Hall here, and right next to me is the brand new Easy 350 V2. It is the sand taupe colorway. Today I'm gonna tell you all about that shoe, and then I'm gonna be doing something that I've never done before. I am cutting off those laces, and I am replacing them, so stick around because I am gonna be using a set of scissors today. 2020 was full of those earth-toned Yeezy colorways, so it makes sense to end on one. The majority of the upper is a warm gray color. Then you've got this one section right up here. That's where that sand color is. Then down on the bottom, it's a little bit darker down there, and I do like that. So it's a nice, simple, classic colorway, keeping with those earth tones, but definitely one of the better earth tone versions of the 350 V2. It looks really good with some light wash denim. And if you picked up a pair, I would suggest maybe try some earth tones. You can't go wrong pairing earth tones with earth tones. So that would be my suggestion for styling this one. So this pair comes with this continuous bungee style lace. I have covered this lace in a previous video. I talked about how to remove it, but just temporarily. Today I'm gonna remove it permanently. I think the extra set of laces is just very cool. And I think that is just gonna add a nice bit of pop. What I'm gonna do is cut this lace and I am gonna make a series of cuts to make it really easy to get this off, so let's just dive in. Being very careful not to get that upper at all. You see, pulling it away, we are gonna make that first cut. Did not cut the upper, so, so far so good. And I'm just gonna keep on going down, cutting each lace to make it really easy to get these out of there. So now I have made a bunch of cuts that should make this really easy to get that lace out. If I try pulling it this way, it gets stuck. So we are gonna wanna go this other way with it and then it comes off so easily. So this is what we're left with, a bunch of pieces of lace and a laceless Yeezy 350 V2. We're just gonna pull it partially out and just pull and just give it a little tug. Not too hard, we don't wanna tear that upper. So you can see we're even here, a good starting point. So now we're just gonna work our way up the shoe. Now one bit of advice, if you are getting stuck trying to pull those laces through, you can use a device to help you out you could use a paper clip to kind of thread it through there, or maybe you've got some fish tape. Use that device. That is gonna make getting these laces through the holes a heck of a lot easier. Overall, this is a very nice look. I hope this was helpful. Let me show you that one. Let's see here. Actually, let's do side by side. There you go, side by side. If you decide to do that lace swap, take your time, follow these directions, you should be good. But let me know if you get stuck. Happy holidays, everyone.